Kazakis. Uh, apologies for me, uh, I did mention that, of course, he's the chief executive officer and president of Chagos Energy Navigation, so my apologies. You should apologize for all, all my slides. <laughs> yeah, all right, but still, you are very kind. So, Yanis Plasidakis, Managing Director, of course, and Angel Maritime Services. And Yanis, apologies. Our chairman of the Jatak. Good to have you, George. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Being the last one of the speakers, I decided to come up with a challenging, if not provocative, uh, subject. The su subject is, is a crisis welcome? Ancient Greeks, and not only them, consider happening events as the desire and wish of God and as an expression of their feelings uh, through the meanings and messages they were passing on to humans. Many years have passed by since then, and the ego of people uh, has increased to such an extent that they believe that they themselves save the event, and are upset when they consider that such events are not favorable to them. It is not my desire to explain and certainly not to express an opinion for the transformation of mankind and its approach to life. Therefore, I will concentrate on a feelingless analysis of the present crisis of the shipping market, which I believe has great similarities to the crisis our, our country is presently facing. It is in the human nature to believe that the present and standing favorable situation will continue in the future, and to the contrary, an unfavorable and long-standing situation will continue such in the future. In other words, the extrapolation of optimism and pessimism in the future. Sipping <laughs> enjoyed a very rewarding market for a long time and came to believe that the constantly improving market will continue for long, if not forever. The shipping investments were becoming more expensive as time was progressing. The banks were anxious not to fail to meet their augmented budgets and targets. New shipyards were established to accommodate the demand for new ships. Ship owners, anxious to be on board the fast-moving train, were placing orders for new vessels with the expectation that their values and earnings will continue to improve. Companies went public on the enthusiasm of investors to come on board the very same train with shipyards, ship owners, and banks. And then the thing was over. The ships proved to be far too many for the available cargo. The cargo themselves were reduced as the world economy slowed down. The banks found themselves full of problematic loans on top of products which they thought they understood, but they did not. Good morning, crisis. Having the undisputable competitive advantage of my age, vis a vis many of you, but not all of you, I will refer to another shipping crisis, the one in the 80s. A shipping crisis deeper and more desperate than the one today. Despite all the sufferings and losses which a number of shipping companies suffered, Greek shipping continued its route, improved, upgraded, reshaped, prospered, and reached the embryonic position of leading world shipping. New companies were established, ship investments on ships were made, which created wealth after some years, Newer ships replaced older ones. However, beyond those investments, the great and valuable contribution of the, crisis, of the crisis in the 80s was the initiation of a deep assessment of the then practices of ship management. It woke up in the minds of the Greek ship owners, office staff, and seamen the self survival emotion and the need for them to adapt to the new environment by evaluating the then parameters. We, Helens, do not constitute a blessed race, but we have proved over time that we have an immense capability to adapt and excel when found in difficulties and have to fight for survival. I'm very optimistic that the present crisis will give us
give us all the opportunity not only to renew and expand our fleets, but also to improve and enhance our ship management skills. I want to underline that the business we're in does not have a substitute. World City does not have competitors who are able to transport world trade in mass and in a more competitive and efficient way. City has its own self-cleansing mechanism which lead it out of crisis. This is a fact. Concluding, I want to remark to the great similarities I see of the present shipping crisis and the crisis our country is facing. I hope the future of the latter will be the same as the former. Thank you very much for your attention.